Hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Tanika and today I have a whole bunch of Kmart makeup to test out. I actually bought so much that I need to split this video into two because I just can't put it all on my face right now. I've got some really exciting products, a primer, cream bronzer, eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks, and so much more. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up while you're watching and let's get into it. All right, so everything I've got here is by the brand OXX Studio, which is available at Kmart. I think the most expensive thing that I've purchased was $8. Like everything is so affordable. So starting with the Instant Glow Illuminating Base, this is giving me major MAC strobe cream vibes. So it contains vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. It's 30 mil and it says that it will revive dull, tired skin with an instant glow and hydration boost. That sounds amazing. Can you guess which one's MAC and which one's Kmart? <laughs> they look very similar. Now this did come in, I think, three different like shades. So I grabbed Sterling. So this is what it looks like. It has a white base and I have blended it out on my hand here and it's giving quite a nice glow. It's not looking too glittery. It feels quite lightweight on the skin. It does have a scent, but nothing too overwhelming. Yes, that's definitely adding a glow. Look at that. Ooh, all right, I like it. I feel like it has absorbed into my skin nicely. It feels hydrating and I'm liking that glowy look. I didn't pick up a foundation, so I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match. This one is in the shade 1N. Now this is a foundation that I use all the time. It already has quite a satin finish, so it does give a little bit of a like natural glow to the skin. I feel like I can definitely see the primer coming through though, because my skin does look like extra glowy in the high points there. And the primer hasn't affected the foundation in any way. They're blending very nicely together. Next, I have the Brow Blade Pen. Get out of town. When I saw this, my jaw literally dropped. I have been so obsessed with the brow pens over the last year or so. They are just such a good product, especially for like my sparse brows. It's nice to be able to draw some real looking hair like strokes in. So I picked this one up in the shade light. So one side has a pencil. Oh, it's one of those, ah. <laughs> it's one of those triangle shaped pencils. I was hoping it would be like a little micro brow, but that's okay. And then the other side is the pen, quite a thick tip and it's a felt. So this is the shade light. <sighs> that ain't light. Oh my God, that is dark. Come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't, oh my God, the bloody lid keeps shooting off it. All right, well, this will be interesting. I'm going to go in with some soap first. This is my Pears Translucent Soap and just brush that through to get my brows in a nice shape. All right, so going in with the pencil side first, this shade is definitely more on the light side. It's actually quite creamy. Okay, well the shade of that is quite nice and it's blending out really easily. Like it's very creamy and emollient. See, it just popped off again. Get on there. All right, I think that's the best I'm going to get with that. I don't really like that the pencil is so thick. I can't really like be super precise with the ends of my brow, but I guess that's where the pen comes in. Now this, I feel like is really gonna make it or break it. <laughs> I'm scared about that color. So if you can see on the end of this brow here, I really don't have a lot of hair. So I'm going to start there. Um, okay, I think that's working really well. <laughs> I really was not expecting that. I'm not going to go like too hard because it is a bit dark for me, but look at those little strokes. That looks 
looks good. Okay, the brow pen side of this pencil is definitely a winner. It looks like a bit thick, but the very, very tip of it is very thin. So it creates beautiful, precise strokes. The color isn't bleeding. I like it. The only annoying thing is that this damn lid keeps popping off and I would hate for it to pop off like in my drawer and then it dries out. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, <laughs> I'm impressed. The next product I think I am most excited about, and again, my jaw just dropped when I saw it in store, and this is the Bronze Whip Cream Bronzer. I get out of town. Now, it did only come in one shade, and I'm a little bit nervous to see that shade. So the packaging is actually quite nice. Very um, luxe for Kmart. All right, so this is the shade. It's giving me um, that Chanel cream bronzer vibes. Okay, I'm just going to swatch it with my finger. It feels quite creamy. Oh yeah, oh that's orange. <laughs> it feels so smooth though. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush to blend it out. I'm pretty sure it's called the Expert Face Brush and it's nice and dense, quite small so I can be precise. <laughs> All right, oh my God. It's like the same color as the brush handle. <laughs> the shade, it's too warm for me. That's just how it is. If you aren't as fair as me, this will probably work just fine on you. But because I am so fair, it's just far too warm. For example, this is the Fenty Cream Bronzer that I use, and this is the Kmart. <laughs> so you can see how much more cool toned this is. Even with powder bronzers, again, a Fenty example, that's the shade of the powder bronzer and the shade of the Kmart. Formula wise though, that was beautiful. Like it blended so easily. It hasn't lifted up any makeup underneath. I can't fault it there. So this is the blush and glow palette. It comes with two blushes and four highlighters. So here are your two blushes, four highlighters. I don't know why I picked this up because I feel like I won't be able to use half of these shades. <laughs> I think I'll have to use the blush in my next Kmart video because I just put on a cream one, but I will go in with a highlighter. Maybe this shade here. Let's give it a little swatch. Ooh, oh, can you see it there? It's very metallic. What? It's a little bit powdery, but very glowy. Let's swatch the next one, quite pink. These bronze ones are definitely going to be too dark for a highlighter on my face. <gasps> but isn't that a beautiful shade? Ooh, okay. I'm going to go in with that peachy shade, although it has swatched quite gold. So I'll just use a very light hand. Hmm. Don't think I'm really getting anything. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, I went way too hard. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, I don't like that. The shade's just not it for me. Like, I can see a stripe on my face. And then this side, I've just gone <gasps> way too hard. That is the biggest gold stripe I've ever seen. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna fix it. Okay. Oh no, oh that looks so bad. <sighs> like, can you see this big gold stripe? Wow. Yeah, those highlighters are gonna be a no from me, but I'll definitely try the blush out in the next video. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I'm just going to prime my eyelids with a concealer, set it with powder, and then I'll be back to test out the Nudes Nine Pan Eyeshadow Palette. These are the shades. I'm pretty sure they have like six to eight different little eyeshadow palettes like this. 
and I love the packaging. The cardboard with magnetic closure is very nice and again, very luxe for Kmart. All right, so I just swatched all of the shimmer shades. They do have quite a nice sheen to them. This one was a little bit like dusty, not dusty, crumbly. A little crumbly, but I am really digging this shimmer shade here. So I might go in with this matte, maybe deepen it up a little, bit of this in the center. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, not too bad so far. It's building up nicely and blending out. It feels very smooth. I'm gonna keep working on it. I feel as though I've got a bit of a line in my crease there and it's not blending. The more I blend, I kind of just blend the color away. So I'm just going to stop there. I might take a bit of that lighter shade just to blend out the edges and then I'm also going to put that shade on the lower lash line. I don't really want to go too much darker but I do want to test out the shades to like see how they blend. So I am going to go in with this one in the corner. It almost looks black like it is dark. So I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit and see how it goes. I feel like that first brown just looks more grey. Like it just doesn't look brown at all on me. All right, well, I'm going to go in with that shimmer shade and put it all over my lid. All right, so it applied nicely on its own. I am going to go in and damp, like wet my brush, make my brush damp, dampen my brush. <laughs> and see if it makes the shadow pop a bit more because I do feel like it's falling out quite a bit. It's got a nice shimmer and it blended very easily, but you know, I just want more from this shadow. Much more metallic. That's actually a really, really pretty shade. All right, well, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I don't, yeah, am I? <laughs> I am. Okay. <laughs> I love the shade of the shimmer. It definitely looked better once it had been wet. The matte shades, they're just a bit too like dark and gray for what I was expecting. Like looking at that shade in the pan and it looks gray on my eyelid. Like it's not giving me the same shade. And because there's not very many options in the palette with matte shades, like these two are far too light to be like for, well for me anyway, to make a look like putting that in my crease, that's my only option and it's not like what I'm after, so. All right, I'm gonna finish the other eye and I'll be back to test out the Limitless Lashes Mascara. All right, eyes are done, moving on to mascara. This is the Limitless, li <laughs> this is the Limitless Lashes Extreme Volume Mascara and what does it say? Exaggerated extreme volume. Just the pink bottle alone is giving me Too Faced vibes <laughs> and the wand, very similar. Now I do already have quite long lashes, but I look for something that's going to volumize them, just like this one says to do. Because I don't like them looking thin and sparse. I want like, mm, you know, give me something. <laughs> already I'm finding the formula's not too wet which is good. I hate a really wet, sloppy mascara formula because I feel like then your lashes just clump together. You can't get them separated. But I am liking this so far. And I feel like the wand is actually a little bit smaller than the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I'm able to be a bit more precise, which is nice. The size of this wand is perfect. I'm really digging that. And I think my lashes, look pretty good too. Look at that one coat. Beautifully separated. I like it. I really like it. And look at those bottom lashes. So long. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. And then lastly, I have this set of Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks and I got the Nude 
bundle. So they did have quite a few. There was like a red, a, like a burnt orange. I think there was even a brown. There was quite a few. So if this formula is good, I'll be going back for more because I loved the shades. Huda Beauty have a little four pack of mini liquid lipsticks like this as well. So again, they're just, you know, taking some inspiration from the big brands. <laughs> now, I don't actually think the individual shades have names. They all just say lip cream and there's nothing on the bottom or the top. That's annoying. Well, let me swatch them. Mm. All right, these are the shades here. This is the first one I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I really don't think this pink or this orangey shade is going to look very flattering on me. So I might go in with this deeper shade and put a little bit of this one in the center because even this shade looks like too light, like it's gonna be too light on its own. So far so good. Stop it right now. That shade is beautiful and it feels so good on my lips. It doesn't feel dry at all. It just applied it so beautifully. <gasps> okay, let me take a little bit of that lighter shade. I am going to use a lip brush and just like tap a little bit in the center. Is it just me or does that look so good? At the end of the video, I might actually insert clips with all the shades on, like trying them on separately so you can see what they look like. But I am really, really digging this. All right, well, that is everything for the first testing Kmart makeup video. Let's just do a quick, a quick little run through, okay? So, the primer. I really enjoyed it. I think it gave a nice glow. It felt nice and lightweight, moisturizing on the skin. So I'm excited to keep using that. The bronzer, we all know how I felt. Formula, beautiful shade, a little too orange for me. I would definitely recommend it though. If you can find it and it's your shade, go and pick it up and try it because, and like even now it doesn't even look that bad. This side's a little harsh, but it doesn't look that bad. The highlighter was the big no no. The shades, like all four shades are just not my preferred highlighting shade and then even when I tried to go in with a light hand like I couldn't see it and then all of a sudden it was like it was just there so that was a no and I'll use the blushes in the next testing Kmart makeup video um the eyeshadow okay like mm. as I said I wish there was a different brown shade because this one just didn't work out it looks gray on me and because it is like the only like mid-tone matte I'm just not going to use it again. So I don't think I would actually use this palette again for the matte shades, but I would probably dip into the shimmers because the one I have on my lid now, I really like. And even this one in the corner looks really pretty. So I might dip into it again for the shimmers. As for the performance of the matte shades, I think they worked pretty well. They blended out nicely. They weren't like extremely creamy but they built up and I think that overall it looks pretty good. The mascara, I loved it. I will definitely be using that again. I feel like my lashes look really good. And the lipsticks, I love that shade. There's even a shade in the Huda Beauty little four pack that I have that is like exactly the same as this. So that's a good dupe right there. The lipstick still feels really comfortable on my lips. It's not like drying and clinging to all my lip lines. I really love it. It was really easy to apply and like this shade is just doing it for me. So, oh my God. And I forgot the brow blade pen. I would definitely use this again. The pencil side was a little chunky, but we'll see how that goes. Loving the pen side though. That worked so much better than what I was expecting. I'm digging it. Hello, so it is the next day and I'm using the Brow Blade pen again and it has completely changed color. This is the swatch on my hand. Huh? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like now it's too light. 
it's not really showing up in my brows. All right, well, that is everything. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a mix of Kmart content and beauty content, especially affordable drugstore beauty. I just love trying out new makeup in that category. So trying out this Kmart makeup is like the perfect blend of what I love. If you've tried any of these products, I would love it if you would leave your thoughts down below so we can have a little chat about it. And if you want more content from me, you can come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. All right, well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. All right, let's take off this lipstick shade and I will show you the others. All right, I've just used this Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the shade 90s Nude because I can just tell this <laughs> nude shade is going to be like... The next level. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know why I'm even still going. Oh, this is gonna look trash. If you want the concealer lip look, then this is the shade for you. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think that's a good shade for tapping in the middle like I did before, but on its own. Okay, this shade is also a big fat no. <laughs> uh, like it's all right. I think with a little manipulating, like if I used a darker lip liner and maybe just put a little bit in the center or something, but like on its own like this, it's a no, but I think you could like work with it. What is this shade? Oh wow, is this just giving you major flashbacks to like, oh, I don't even know what year, but there was a time when this shade was all the rage. Okay, so now that I've tried them all, like there's only one shade out of the four in this that I can use on its own. And is that really worth it? I don't think so. I'll have to check out the other options that they have and maybe take a closer look at the shades before I pick them up because this just, <laughs> this just ain't it. <sighs> oh God. All right, we'll see you next time.